Netflix has raised its prices again. All right, so now we gotta figure out, is Netflix still worth it with the new pricing? That's what we're gonna dive into today. We'll talk about Netflix's new pricing and compare it to some of the other streaming services that are its competitors and see if it is still king of the jungle when it comes to on-demand streaming. Let's dive in. All right, thanks for watching today, everybody. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy this video. Now then, let's dive into Netflix. They've raised the price on all three of their uh, tiers for their service. So the 4K plan, it was 18 bucks, it's now $20. The middle of the road HD plan where you get two simultaneous streams and uh, 1080p, that one is up to 1549. Round up, call it 1550, up from $14. And the standard definition plan with only one simultaneous stream, that one is now at $10 where it was at nine. Okay, so gut reaction here is obviously it sucks when somebody raises their prices like this. However, when I stop and think about it, it's not that crazy. Every 12 to 18 months they're raising their prices. Well, that's gonna kinda come with the territory when they're creating so much content, so many Netflix originals. Plus, add in concerns about inflation right now, and yeah, this seems about in line with what we should expect. That doesn't mean it doesn't kind of suck, though. So, how does Netflix compare now with its competitors? Well, the closest competitor in pricing has always been HBO Max. Well, at least for the last couple of years, right? So, HBO Max is at $15, or you can get the $10 ad-supported tier. Hulu, similarly, is at $13, or $7 for the ad-supported tier. Discovery Plus and Paramount Plus both do the same thing with Discovery Plus coming in at seven and five dollars and Paramount Plus coming in at 10 or five. Disney Plus is at eight bucks a month now where it's up from seven where it started and Apple TV Plus is holding strong at five dollars a month. Which seems kind of weird, right? Apple TV Plus has been out for over two years now and they haven't raised their prices yet, but we have to remember that it's not necessarily about turning a profit on Apple TV Plus. Apple TV Plus is really just meant as a way to make uh, their devices, Apple devices, a little stickier. So it's you know, harder to quit, <laughs> you know, your iPhone or your iPad if you can watch some great content on it. But for the rest of these, though, I think these companies are more concerned about turning a profit. Either way, which ones are worth it? Well, obviously, that's going to be kind of up to you and what content you want to watch. So if you love reality TV or unscripted TV, Discovery Plus is a no-brainer. If you love premium, kind of HBO style content, obviously you've got HBO Max, but Apple TV Plus, definitely worth it as well. And Netflix, let's take their middle tier here, the HD package at $15.50 a month. Even at that price, I think it's worth it. There really is no competition among any of the other streaming services when it comes to the utter breadth of content available to you on Netflix. And it's not just about the quantity of their content, but it's about the quality as well. Netflix does a good job of uh, creating a lot of quick, easy, cheap content, and also balancing that out with some premier, premium content. You know, things like Stranger Things or The Witcher or whatever. So for me, is Netflix still worth it? Yes, absolutely. But I do want to hear what you have to say about it, how you think it compares to the rest of the streaming landscape. I understand we're all frustrated by price hikes, but you know, that is kind of the way it goes. They're going to keep pushing that envelope until we all start unsubscribing. So are you gonna be in that boat? Are you gonna be unsubscribing from Netflix or anybody else over these price hikes? Hit the comments below and let me know. On your way down there, don't forget to like this video, don't forget to subscribe, and come by here every Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern for the live streams that I do right here on this channel. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time.